Hello and welcome to an edition of Genesis Law Firm Teaches. Today's topic is this one. LLC or corporation, which is better? This is a very frequently asked question. Should I form an LLC, a limited liability company, or should I form a corporation for my new business? The answer is that neither is necessarily the better option. It depends upon you and what you want to accomplish with your business. In this video, we're going to go through the high points of this discussion, which is better, an LLC or a corporation. LLCs are the most popular entity choice available, including uh, when compared to corporations. But corporations do have their advantages. By the way, there are many other entity types out there. You could be a sole proprietor, a partner. You could be a limited liability partnership, a limited partnership. And all of these entity types have their pros and their cons. By the way, if you form a sole proprietorship or a partnership, there are probably more cons than pros. Usually you won't want to choose those two options. You'll want one of these other options that I mentioned, a limited liability entity like a corporation or LLC. In today's video, we're going to focus exclusively on LLCs and corporations because they are the most popular two entity types. Let's first look at corporations and their advantages. Corporations have a very strong liability shield for their owners. In fact, this is the reason why there are so many corporations out there. When corporations first came into existence, it was the only way that you could create an entity shield of this type. So if you really wanted to protect the individual's assets and only expose whatever might have been invested in the business, then you would have chosen a corporation. It's also what the big boys use. If you want to be like a Microsoft or a Boeing and go public, then you'll want to be a corporation. Similarly, if you want to associate with the big boys, if you want people to think that you're big, even though perhaps you might not be, if you want that kind of prestige, then maybe you would form a corporation rather than an LLC. Disadvantages, as I mentioned, there are some drawbacks here. One of the biggest is that if you form a corporation the way the big boys do. You subject yourself to double taxation. There's taxation both at the corporate level and at the individual level. So most people won't want to form a business exactly like Microsoft or Boeing. Instead, people who form corporations will at least initially choose to be taxed under the S corporation election. And that means there's only one level of taxation, but you can only do this while the corporation is closely held and there are certain other restrictions. The, I think, biggest reason why people might choose not to form a corporation would be the inflexibility of the corporate structure. You're almost always going to have, I shouldn't say almost always, you're always going to have a board and executives, and that can be a cumbersome way to do business. Most people would prefer to do business either in a way that's similar to a sole proprietorship or a partnership because of the ease in how the decisions are made. Next, let's look at LLCs, limited liability companies. Some people say that LLCs are the best of all worlds, and I can't say that that's necessarily true, but there are many advantages. One of the big advantages is that you get a corporation's liability shield. You get the same protection for the owners that a corporation provides. That's unique among all the other entities out there. So these are the two best in terms of their entity shields. With an LLC, you get the most flexibility in terms of how you choose to be taxed, even more flexibility than with a corporation. So if you're trying to save money tax-wise, an LLC might be a good choice. But ultimately, most businesses end up being taxed as S corporations, regardless of whether they're a corporation or an LLC, because they both make the same tax election. So it may not be that there's a big tax savings by choosing to form an LLC versus a corporation, but you might save some money. 
The really big reason for forming an LLC would be the flexibility of the entity structure. You can choose to structure this business almost any way you want, including running it as a partnership, which is what most people who have multiple owners of the business really want to do. The biggest disadvantage of an LLC is that it's not what the big boys use. If you intend to go public or you want to associate yourself with that kind of uh, big business, then perhaps an LLC is not the best choice for you. Bottom line, an LLC is going to be better for most people and their businesses, but you might choose to form a corporation instead if you want to go public. Maybe you're not ready to do it now, but you intend to do it in the future or if you want to associate yourself with those big dogs. And I should mention that you can form an LLC and convert it to a corporation at a later date. So that might be how you would truly get the best of all worlds. If you would like more information on this topic or related topics, you can go to our website and you might want to click on the resources tab. That's where most of our videos and articles are. And if you would like the address for the article associated with the same topic that we're discussing today, you can find it here.